In the previous video, we have implemented the genetic algorithm to the point that we can run it. And upon adding some mutations, so 5% of the mutation, we can see that we have achieved a useful result even with two points very close to each other. So now we are going to implement a, a custom interface uh, for our brain class to be able to just regenerate the map on the fly. So let's stop the game. What we need to do is go to editor and create a new c -sharp script. And let's call it the brain inspector or map brain inspector. Let's open it up in the code editor. Okay, great. And what we need to do now is instead of model behavior, we are going to inherit from editor. Alt enter using Unity editor. We are going to set this custom editor for type of our map brain. Great. And now what we can do is create a private variable brain or map brain rather. Let's call it map brain. Great. That next we need to on enable. And here we want to set map brain equals map brain cast to map brain the target. So the special variable of the uh, editor of the custom inspector. Okay. Now what we need to do is the same thing as we did for the map generator inspector override on inspector GUI. Leave the base on inspector GUI. And if application is playing inside here we are going to set GUI enabled because as I said before if the algorithm is running we do not want to be able to rerun it. So brain, so map brain is algorithm running. So as you might recall we have set the is algorithm running to true when we have push to the button and until it stops being true so if it is false when we show the result we cannot pre press the button that we are going to create so we are going to create a GUI uh, layout dot button and the name will be run genetic algorithm okay and here we are going to call map brain dot run algorithm and that's basically it this will allow us to regenerate our map inside the game now let's go to our map brain script and instead of calling this script at the start we are going to delete this basically okay great so now we can go back to unity and when the script compiles we can press play and Click the map brain or brain in my case and run the generator, uh, run the algorithm. And you can see that we have achieved some kind of path. And now we can introduce some changes to the parameters. So let's set it for maybe a number of corners from 4 to 10. And we can say that the fitness of the corners to possibly 2. The fitness of the nearest corner doesn't work yet. Uh, the path weight let's set it to something like 2 the obstacle weight let's set it to 0.5 can we set it okay so we need to change it so let's stop the game and of course there is an issue where we are modifying the parameters inside the editor so the what we could do is copy the component and then paste those when we stop the game but for now let's fix this issue with the obstacles weight so let's go back to map brain script Okay, and at the top, we should see the, the fitness of our obstacles weight. And we can see that it is correctly set, but it is an int. So we need to change it to be float. Okay, now it should be good. Let's go back to Unity. Okay, so as before, let's say we want to have 5% mutation rate from 4 to 10 corners. For example, the corner weight will be 2. The path weight will be 2 or 3. The obstacle weight, let's reduce it to, for example, 0.5. Or we can type it 0.5. Great. The map width and length will stay the same. 
we can have seven knights and let's try playing it now okay let's run the algorithm and we can see that we have pretty nice uh, output but something went wrong in the generation of the exit point well actually it is a start point so i will check what is wrong okay so the issue apparently was that in our map helper when we said the type of the cell of the start position and exit position we didn't set the cell is taken to true and then in our map visualizer we have only checked if we are placing our uh, visual visualize prefab when we are placing our set cell to object of type uh, obstacle uh, so here we only check the cell if it is taken equals false so here if we said in map helper that start and exit positions are always taken and save it then during the mixing of our uh, parents we could possibly set the obstacle to be in the position of start or exit position but now it will check against it and it, we should never get this uh, setup that we do not have start and exit position and as you can see now we can safely generate our maps and those maps really look quite nice uh, as opposed to the maps generated by, by the map generator which we can enable and let's table the placement of our uh, placeholders and let's set the same placement for our uh, start and exit position let's generate it and you can see that there is a vast difference between what our map brain and uh, okay uh, apparently i have used the brain the map generator let's use the brain and you can see that this is much much better road it has some curves but not too many so i i think it looks pretty good and before we finish it off i have forgotten to add the fitness nearest corner weight uh, to account for anything in our fitness score so let's open up our map brain script okay and i am going to simply add at the end of calculate fitness method core minus equals data or in our case it is map data i'm going to get corners near each other times our fitness nearest corner weight so this let's rename it maybe to near corner great so this will indicate that if we have multiple corners together or if there are corners that are near each other we will subtract from the score meaning that we do not want to have this strange looking road we want it to be straight and have one corner per, per uh, three uh, cells so this would give us this natural looking road okay so this is it in the next video we will implement a loading screen for our map